There it is. Okay. We will move this. Let me just move myself. Right there. Right there. Okay. Sims 2 for the Nintendo DS. Uh, I... I was just bored. And... I was just wondering, like, oh, what should I play? I, I sh as much as, like, I could keep doing the rest of stuff, and I'll do that tomorrow. I might as well do something that's a little bit calmer. But it's still strange in that case. And for that, we're, we're going to emulate some Sims 2 DS. This was something from my childhood. A while back, I would say uh, my experience was like 2007 or something. 2000, around that time. Uh, bought this game like at a GameStop. Originally, I had the the Game Boy Advance version, and then I was like, "Oh, this is too difficult for me because it's all about acting." So this time, well, we bought the DS version. Uh, the first copy of it. And somehow I lost that first copy. But it was just a trip for me because you actually had to run a hotel. I was like, this is completely different from the Game Boy version. And we could actually show, like, the origins if we just reset like, right there. Yes, I am emulating it. Uh, there's all the, all the guests and our car we made it to this town and we're stuck at a stop and then this farmer kicks our hubcap and then we get to a fly this fly swarming around the people they all miss speaking of miss This is pretty much the whole town. And then it just should restart, I believe. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the story. You are driving that vehicle and you stop in the, uh, the strange town. Just what it is. So there's just quite a few things we could do. Oh, well, there's there's no way in hell we're gonna do DS wireless. Settings like we could yeah, other settings. This concept art we could mess around with, but that's that's like in the game. And then they actually show you the credits, so it looks like you finished it. Uh, but uh, the main thing is creating a sim. Now, to be fair, I did play this a while back, like in, in like one of my first mods on my YouTube thing, and let's just say uh, it fucked up pretty badly. Because the audio just crapped out so bad. So, uh, hopefully in this case, it's, if it doesn't crap out, uh, we get lucky. Uh, but we're gonna pick that. Uh, I'll, I'll give you, like, a slight, very slight, uh, thing of myself, actually. Yeah. So, back that up. Can I even type this? Nope. There's no way of typing that with uh, the controller. Uh, just put the name right there. Okay. Uh, maybe it's like just what it looked like. IRL. Or. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's the hair. I think right now it's like. Around here or here, one of the two, like black hair. But uh, in this case, we'll go with the logo. We'll just go, just go orangey orange. It's pretty usual. Uh, face style. Mm, kind of rocking, like. 
Oh, no, actually, no, it was a hat. I thought it was just beards. Uh, wow, this is limited. Okay, nine styles work there. Okay, I think we'll just go with. Uh, hmm. I kind of want to go with the, the Chuck Norris look. Full beard and the goatee, but in that case, I'll just pick the. Just pick the. Uh, yeah, that, that's. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go bareface. Uh, that's close enough. And then. Just a little. Pick like a. Uh, I think I'll. Go with orange shirt. Uh. Usually I wear shorts, so. Something. Let's say I have full suits. Well, these are all the full suits and everything. There's also the Hawaiian shirt. Oh, you know, we'll just go with we'll just go with the Hawaiian shirt and the, the shorts. Like that. Uh, that's the usual. Uh, so the nighttime clothes and shower clothes are like separate things. If you go to the bed, or if you actually have to take a shower, they have that. So. Uh, I don't normally wear full clothes, pajamas, in that case, I usually wear, like, yeah, shorts and stuff, or, or uh, boxer briefs, you can take the shirt off, pretty much, that's what I usually use, and then, at minimum, we'll just go with the, uh, just go with that. You know, that sounds about right. Uh, and then now we have um, like these four abilities, four specific abilities you could pick uh, in order to uh, help you out in life. Now, fortune, which is something we most of us could go with. You could get more money from your hotel guests, and we'll, we'll get that at some point soon. That'll take time. Popularity, uh, which is improving your relationship with other sims faster. But this requires a whole lot of communication with other sims. That's gonna take a while too. Romancing? Uh, other sims will be in the mood for romance more often. That is, in my case, particularly for the, uh, for mostly females. And I don't know, I don't know if there's other uh, choices as well. I, I didn't really experience uh, with the romance stuff. And then partying. So recovering twice as much sanity from using objects. And this is actually kind of helpful, but this is more end game helpful. In that case, because of certain events uh, that we'll see later. Uh, but I think, hmm, in the long run, what will actually help us would be uh, the fortune ability. So, uh, gotta get that money. Get the bag. Jebediah. Oh, hey. So, Jebediah S. Jerky, Jeb, uh, Jeb's Jerky. Oh, they're slick. You're running the wrong way, aren't you? Strange Town is dying faster than frogs on the freeway. What's your business here? Car troubles, eh? Well, I'm known around here as something of a handyman, but don't believe anything else I hear. I'd be willing to have a look under the hood if you don't mind. Oh, hey. Shoot, kid, that engine's got more holes than a donut shop. Oh, Jesus. It's gonna take a while. A few days, maybe. You... Uh, he's he's not lying about a few days, and I mean that in real time, because it, it will take some time. And what makes this game really ridiculous is that that 127, that is my time. That is Hawaii standard time. Which means it's literally like 127 right now. So yeah, it will take a few days. Uh, you can head on over to Strange Town Hotel and secure yourself a bed. It's nothing fancy, but I hear they got pillows. That's what matters. Usually I sleep on the floor, though. You tell them Jebediah Jerky sent you. I don't know if that'll, uh, I don't know that it'll help any, but I like getting my name out there. I, I get freaked out when I see Jebediah, though. The weirdest thing about Jebediah is that you can't see his eyes. And it's, his model is so interesting. Where it's his hat's so high up, and it looks like he he doesn't have any eyes at all. It's like Davros from it's like Davros from uh, Doctor Who, the one that made all the uh, the Daleks. 
Like his eyes are probably just either really sunk in or he, something. Alright. But yeah. We can explore now after we touch the job. And the main thing. Oh. Yeah. Hold on now. I'm thinking. There's more than one way to skin a cat. And there are at least three ways to fix an engine. Okay, he just repeats himself. Hmm, I'm gonna, uh, uh, I think we get. Yeah, you can also give Jebediah and other Sims gifts as well. But I can't, I can't give him any, and now I gotta get out the menu. Uh, if we walk around, there's actually different things we could do. Yes, there's nuclear rods. You were gonna definitely need those. There's also boards you could pick up, and then that'll help get you money and other things, I believe, and you can make other things as well. Grab another fuel rod. I don't, I don't know how we're not uh, suffering from nuclear radiation, but I mean that's fine too. Uh, show you other things. There's, there's a bull. You can't interact with the bull somehow. You can interact with the cows. You can tip the cows. They'll get back up eventually. And you can milk the cows too. And uh, if I remember correctly, you actually get a milkshake. Well, okay, I don't know about how it, it's a milkshake and you get that from the cow. I don't get that. I, I don't want to know where the vanilla flavor is coming from with that cow. And hopefully uh, those uh, vanilla beans are not flies. You get the cow too. You can pet them. And give them gifts too, actually. No. Or you, you could be horrible. You could be horrible and you just... You could just... Uh, give the cow fresh milk. And think of bugs. Do I need the milk? Not really. What about a milkshake? What do they think about milkshakes? Fish. I do not want to know. Alright. The bull actually can walk to the stuff here. Uh... Grab another gourd. Another thing we could sh show you, other than I think, pretty sure this is Jeb's house, which is kind of weird to me because, uh, yeah, there's no. I don't know how it's hanging, uh, over the, the whole world. Oh, there's, oh, at least there's like some amount of, uh, structure there. You can't go through the door and the windows, right? That's probably just a shed. Oh, the bull and the cow are thinking about something. The world and money. Man. Man that's 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 the telltale sign of life right there. It could okay. So the thing is nope. Oh, of course that's supposed to stay strange town. And I don't know what else is on there other than a skull of a, a moose or reindeer. Now we could also Oh! That's actually blocked. Okay. I did not expect that to happen. I thought it would have been easy to just go in, but I guess not. Uh, so we'll just go straight to the hotel. Now, you're, you're thinking with the structure of the hotel, you're thinking like, okay, this, this is probably like a really like small hmm, hotel. Okay. It's just... I jump. This is just a small hotel, and it's not, nothing more than probably like a few floors you could go to. This is what? Oh, huh. welcome to a Strange Town Hotel. Can I help you with the? Oh, it's pointless. It's not like anyone's paying me anymore. That's right. My boss just walked out yesterday. He said he was fed up with the place. And... Hold on, is the power out? Wow, I guess I've been sleeping a while. I should sleep some point too. I've got to wash this desk and maybe you can stroke the furnace for me. They say maybe you can stoke the furnace. It's in the basement through the door on the left. Head down the stairs and walk straight ahead. Pick up any of the fuel rods you find laying around and toss them in the furnace. Ah, yes, that music. Alright, so the mission now is from the concierge. Telling us to go get uh, fuel rods, uh, and and then actually what we want to do as well, we could stock the brochure rack. That'll actually help 
with the hotel. That's one of the few things that take no effort to do and just help. Ooh, a nuclear rod. 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 This is the heart of the Strange Town Hotel. This reactor needs nuclear rods in order to supply power to the hotel. Yes, so we actually have to feed a nuclear furnace in order to power the hotel. We fill to the max. I, I believe each nuclear fuel rod like does maybe like a day or two or three days if possible. I don't know what these other spills are. But look at all that nuclear power. And I don't know how we're not suffering from nuclear radiation, like I said. Are you now we're just gonna walk around. Fun fact we can actually check out. So yeah, there's nothing we can do with any other stuff later on. We, there's actually a freezer. And this freezer as uh it has a meat slime you can actually punch and this thing will refill your sandy like nothing else even though you're freezing in that freezer you'll lose sandy but you'll gain a lot of sandy back let's go back up oh there's the concierge e -hey. yes the power's back on thanks each of those fuel rods lasts about three days so about 18 days Though, the furnace can hold more than one at a time. Oh, I wanted to ask you, did you drop this note when you came in? I found it behind my computer monitor after you left. Here. There's a reason for everything up to the sun shines, the earth spins, and smart people like you run hotels. Good luck. The citizens of Strange Town need your help. So, I don't know who left that note, but... Yeah, someone is saying we have to run this hotel and we can help them. Oh, there's Jeb. Whew, this place isn't exactly a palace, is it? We never saw more than one guest a month, Jeb. There was never any reason to clean up. That's backwards thinking. If you want to bring in the customers, you gotta clean the place up. Pick up the trash, back in the place, it's easy. You may be right, but... Oh. I'm not so supposed to leave this desk, so this kid will have to do it. That's a fair trade. If I'm going to fix your car, you're going to have to back in this hotel. As the concierge is dozing off every time. The one thing I always wondered, as well, if it gets my attention, is how... How this area over here, I don't know if that's supposed to be a window or this is actual painting. And it's split up into three parts, but it's just ridiculous to me. Alright, what do you... What about the register? So, the thing about becoming a hotel manager in this game is that there are actually five rooms you could rent out. Technically, there's only... There's four rooms, because... Uh, the last house at the bottom, the penthouse, uh, we're going to be lending to some people of a high, high importance. Quote. And then the other three rooms we have to eventually uh, make. But we'll get on. So we only have the small guest room. That's, that's what we have for now. Not much, but we'll definitely do. Hey. There are 24 unique types of license plate. I'm sure you'll win a prize or something if you look at all 24 plate locations. And you can always sell them to the jailer if you need money. Yeah, so there's 24 plates. There's actually collectibles in this game. Quite a few bit of collectibles. But the big problem is that it's all in real time. And randomized. So it will take quite a while if you're playing this game officially. Just to get through everything. Then you can chat about the cost of anything else. The higher the value of, of items in a guest room, the more guests will pay you when they check out. So... That plays also a good part. Hey. 
furnace only powers the hotel's lights and air conditioning. If the power goes out, some of your guests may leave, but the elevator will always work. Yeah. So that's probably a solar powered elevator. Let's just get on with the, the what we need to do though. I don't know how a lot of these dust bunnies came in, but we're gonna have to vacuum them. So we'll have the vacuum. And then now we just have to activate the vacuum. Oh, what was that? Is that a gunshot or is that a... That's probably thunderstorms. Yeah, it's raining. Holy... Okay. Luckily, this game does not tell weather. So if it was raining, that would freak me the fuck out. But the main thing we want to do is get our pockets. And yes, we have enough hammer space to hold all of these things. Uh... You could probably take a guess what this is, and then this, you could probably take a guess what this is too, but for now, this is, uh, uh, I forgot, my cart's not on the screen. Uh, the middle and the bottom, but at the top, it's the vacuum. So the vacuum, we can move around like a tank, sort of. Yeah. And then, you pretty much pick up stuff, and then with your stylus or the cursor, you can actually grab things from the dust bunnies if they're there. So you can grab like things like weird things like pencils and uh, shortcut heads of aliens. I don't know how that happened. Another pencil. What you don't want to do is hit the dust. I'm trying to blow I, uh, the mic. Nope, doesn't work. Okay. So in my case, I guess I don't have my mic set up to that point. So let's get the last of the dummies. But yeah, you're supposed to blow into the mic so that you can clear the dust that you grabbed. Oh. Hey. Honest Jackson, you there. I want answers. You hear me? What's this about the owner of the hotel waiting to skip town? Wanting to skip town. He's already gone, Mayor, Mayor Jackson. He slipped out last night. Without a functioning hotel, our tourist trade will plummet. Be done for. Well, sir, we're doing the best we can, but the economy will crash. People will start. I know. The economy will crash. People will starve. Wars will rage, and I'll be forced to cut my recycling programs. We must do something. Anything. Everything. Now. Please help. <laughs> oh, what a world. Hey. Mama Hog. Good God. Mayor Jackson, excuse me. I've been looking for you everywhere. It seems you have a meeting at... He's gone bonkers again, Mrs. Hong. Oh, heavens, is this kid some type of, of agitator or something? When he gets emotional, there's no solution but to restrain him with soothing words. Otherwise, he'll stay loopy. Alright, so... In this case... We talk to Mama Hog. Time's a waste, kiddo. Talk to Mary Jackson and restrain him. Uh... So yeah, the main goal we have to do is restrain all the Jackson. So he's loopy. Uh, we can't give him a gift, so we got we no choice. So this game has like three options to choose. And anytime you do, you do the first interaction, it'll always show you what it is. It'll actually show you like what actions they're doing and then you have to pick one of three options. Very simple compared to uh, the uh, Game Boy Advance version. Oh, oh, what's happened? I feel funny. Did I go on one of my rampages again? What did they call you, kid? Oh, nice to meet you, Obtuse. Listen, we're in trouble here. This hotel is one of many sources of money in Strange Town. If it goes under, the town goes with it. Help us turn this dingy dormitory into a world-class palace of leisure. Just say yes. That would be grand. We could get a pool, a couple lounges, a restaurant, maybe a gallery, and perhaps... Perhaps we should start by building a casino. Wow. I'm a hog. Going straight for that. Good thinking, Mrs. Hog. That's a perfect way to attract guests. I have to talk to Tristan Legend about building a casino. He's our local handyman. Tristan? Ooh, actually, maybe I should talk to him for you. I know he likes to hang out in the desert, so... Oh. 
Stay out of this one, Miss Hog. Obtuse, follow me. Before you go out looking for Tristan, I want to show you where you'll be staying. Okay. Wait. What the fuck? What? You're not sitting down, Miss Hog. Jesus. I don't want to know. Oh, and we got a little bit of money because she grabbed a brochure. That's another thing. So, oh, so here's the manager suite, your home base. You got the basics to start with, a bed, a uh, shower, etc. But you can decorate it however you like. Hey. On the wall over here is your stat panel. It will give you all sorts of useful information about your hotel and your own skills. So to get to know the place before you get to work, relax and well, take a shower before you find Tristan. You're smelling a little ripe. Oh, man. You know, he's being honest, so. All right, it's time to go take a shower. But I mean, since it's our room, we, ac we can actually move things. Oh, nope. We'll move, okay, we'll move it after we take a shower. I took a shower not too long earlier though, say that. I feel I feel way better after the shower. You can take your time with the shower, and it'll help you raise your sanity to uh, a good extent. Not as fast as the the meat slab, but yeah, close enough. All right, and then yeah, you can get out automatically after a certain amount of time. You don't want to waste that much water. But since this is our room, we could actually move uh, our shower, and I thought I could move it like right next to. Uh, the toilet and the sink, but I guess I can't because it's way too wide. Uh, but I think we could look at other things. We could probably, yeah, we could move the couch. And I think, yeah, there's also the rotate button. Although it's very, very heavy on, uh, pretty much, uh, there's no diagonals at all, so pretty much like this. Uh, you know, that's fine too. So you can move the couch. Pretty sure. Nope, that is the vents for the AC. Oh. But then we can do other things like eat food in the fridge. I don't know how it's always stocked, but I mean, you gotta thank the concierge for that. So I'm sticking to food, I'm kind of hungry, even though it's like 1.46 in the morning. Examining the stat panel. So this is kind of like our whole info regarding like how everything's doing. So aspirations. So fortune, uh, you can earn additional money from hotel guests, which means the way you get more fortune is to calm down angry people. That's really what it is. Because you want to make money and you want to handle their problems. There's also skills. So there's skill stats and everything over here, and there's about 50 points you can find. But the rough part about this game is that it's all random, and it's all at random times to find a point. So that's gonna be that's gonna be the reason why it takes a few days. You will have to need that for certain certain points. Hotel info. Uh, this shows you like your profit and how much money you put into the hotel and how much you get back and uh, how the hotel's doing. You may, if, if you get 100%, it's pretty much you get all the rooms. That's, that's literally all it is. And then there's also game stats right here, uh, telling different things. These two are telling us stuff we're gonna do later. Uh, this, and same thing with this from the metal detector, but vacuum stuff you know, also explains that. All right. So, let's actually go get Tristan. But before that, we're gonna refill our brochure rack. Uh, actually, what I'm gonna show you now uh, is uh, the whole other parts of the hotel. So, kind of a dumb idea to go out in the rain, even though I like the rain, is the sun deck, or the rain deck you can call it right now, it's just pouring at like almost two in the morning. No sun, just all wet. 
all went business. And nothing more. But I think I don't remember if the pool over here helps your sanity. But you can build sanity a bit with the lawn chair. Here, look, let's sunbathe in the rain. Yeah, this is this is the wet and wild water park, and then we're just chilling in the rain. And then we can just finish that off. Yes, I love shower bathing. Uh, but we're gonna go to the second floor of the lobby. So, second floor of the lobby actually is the first four rooms I was talking about earlier. In regards to uh, all the rooms. We don't have the penthouse yet, so... These are the other rooms that we have here. Uh, but of course, since we don't have them built yet... This is the main room we can go into. This is the small guest lot, or the small guest room, where it's it's not much. It's it's really not that much. You got your basic stuff, your toilet, your sink, your your shower, and a couch, and a bed. And I guess this whole stage area is kind of blocked. Unless I mean, it's a comedy with the the red, but it's a tragedy with the the, the bricks. Mm. I always want to grab a little snack, by the way. Don't refill it. A little bit of food. A little bit of drink, too. I don't know if that's a Coke or something else, but I mean, I don't know. What is it? But yeah, that, that is our uh, second floor. We'll go back down to the lobby. And this is right here. This is the. Uh, I blanked out. Yeah, that's why I get her doing something at like one in the morning. Hey. Or it can be sold at the saloon for a decent price. They might have another use, but I forget what. I forgot what the other use is too. I think it was like food or something. Hey. Okay, the license plates. Nope. Hey. You see X and Y buttons to the camera in and out. Yeah, okay, there we go. Not about the registry. Chat room. Uh, yeah. So vacuum clear, sucking up stuff. Okay. Loot begins are bad news. They're rowdy, inconsiderate, and may leave piles of ick in their wake. You want to clean up the ick piles, which will be later on. Angry guests aren't much fun to have around. They're rather fun to destroy items with their corpse. So, the concert just gives like a ton of information. Certain potential guests, the big tippers, won't show until your hotel score is sufficiently high. So you, you gotta make a good quality hotel. If you have the super trench, you can fill it anytime you're near a water uh, water source. And yeah, nice just repeating a little bit. Angry loopy guests don't pay much when they check out. Keep your guests happy by talking to them and fr uh, furnishing the rooms. All right, so that, that we got a whole just information. I think this is pretty much the, the atrium. So this has all the other things we're gonna have to build at some point. So. A, a, a music room. Ooh, looks like rot. A weight room. Kind of. Yeah, speaking of which, there's like little piles as well. Good. Grab. Let's see what they have here. Nothing. Nada. Okay. Uh, and then you see here, this is the dice. So this is gonna be the casino that uh, Miss Hog brought up. And then there's other things here. Uh, like sushi, like a sushi bar that's gonna come up specific on the door. And another funny thing, if you go near like some doors, you'll actually see uh, they're they're like transitioning uh, like uh, grab like uh, image of when the the uh, the build is complete. So you get like a very small sneak peek as to what that room looks like, but. The main thing is checking if there's anything else. Nope. Oh. Ooh, we'll feel rough. Okay, yeah, I guess yeah, we do have nothing. So let, let's go back. Let's go back in the rain. Now, Tristan is a lucky man because it is raining. I think I don't know if there's a. Okay. 
take your milk. And take your milk too. I don't know what I grabbed. Okay, two cups of milk. That's fine. And no, you can't milk the bowl for a reason. Alright, so let's go into the desert while it's pouring rain. Uh, Tristan Legend. You ever caught a meteor with your bare hands? It takes time to get used to the heat and the pain. That's a good cure for loneliness. Why am I lonely? Well, I, I say this. It ain't easy to see the woman you love carried off by a pack of giant scorpions. Hey, I don't recognize you. What's your name? Fascinating. So what can I do for you, Obtuse? A pair of strong hands? The building, huh? How kind of you. And I'd be happy to help you. If I was happy at all. If not. I think I'm going to stand right here and move a bit. I'm trying my best to do a little crying too, so step back. <laughs> now, this is the desert. Uh, so being in the desert actually will destroy our sanity. So this will kill our sanity the longer we are in the desert. Okay, I didn't think... Yeah, so Tristan's repeating what he's saying. So now we're gonna try to cheer him up. Since this is our first time we're cheering him up, we get to see what action is which. I might forget this. It's been a while since I played. Yes, we're hugging in the rain. The right kid, tomorrow is another day. I can't believe I never thought of that. So, Honest Jackson wants me to build a casino, huh? Okay. I could do it, but we need a building permit. Honest knows that. You can buy building permits at the city hall. Anytime you want to add a room to the hotel, you have to buy me a permit. Then they send me to build it. Ooh, hey! Alright. We get, let, let, let's get the hell out of uh, the desert. That is killing our sanity. So the goal now is we gotta buy a permit from uh, for the casino at the city hall. So I guess it's time to show you the other buildings. This is the jail. This is the... Uh, this is the strange town jail. You actually get locked up in here. Uh, but there's two cells. You're wondering why there are two cells. There's, there's certain reasons for that. Uh, one for uh, other people we're gonna see, and one for us. Look at that! Look at that t uh, toilet and sink connected to there. And then the sheriff is just enjoying his coffee and donuts. Uh, he's right there. Okay, let's get out. Uh, so I'm gonna show this part here. This is the Mama's Place Saloon. I saw my mom's home cooking. Home cooking, not cupping. And drink some sarsaparilla or dance the night away. So, we could talk to the saloon chick. We actually sell boards too. Every board's like 20 bucks. So, they have things on the menu like uh, Mystery Meat Burger. So, Strange Time's most dangerous food because it's so greasy. I don't know what Mystery Meat it is. It could be alien. Who knows? Sarsaparilla. A uh, so special saloon dog, four dollars. A delicious frank on a doughy bun topped with a secret spicy gourd relish. That's partly why they need the gourds. Uh, sarsaparilla, it's easier to drink than it is to spell. I've never had one of those drinks, but I, I kinda wanna try it. Pipanot chili. 18 different chilies and spices make this dish a danger to your five senses. Uh, I, I don't want to know. I'm not really, not too keen on spicy stuff all the time, even though I kind of want to try it. French fries, crispy potatoes, white cut, and double fried in soy oil makes for a relatively healthy treat. That's usually the case to make crispy. We got nachos, neo nachos, top feta cheese, hummus, onions, to, uh, olives, tomatoes, and cheese. Uh, okay, I'm good. And you see, uh, since this is Mama Hogs, like restaurant she has like pictures of like all different things here uh whether it be from buildings all the way to like certain things like uh nuclear plants and there is her son dusty there's dusty hog 
Now, one thing that's interesting is that, yeah, this is the, the, the dance floor. You actually move no matter what at a certain range when you get in. Uh, but what's even interesting is XAM Satellite Stereo. You've changed the music. So, originally it's on the Dust Dog Blues, but you could pick up the different things like Strange Sound. The Strange Sound theme we don't hear in this game a lot. It, it's mostly in the, the the Game Boy Advance version of Create a Sim. Uh, we already heard that. Strange Day, it'll play normal like day music, but with nothing going on, it'll play this. Same thing with the nighttime. You would think it would be playing now, but nope, it is raining and that's the ambient noise. Edge of town. That is like beginning, beginning from the Game Boy Advance version. We'll hear the alien song. This is the alien song. I get a little bit creeped out by it still to this day. Uh, so that's the only thing. The goons. This is for uh, other people we'll see in a bit. Techno. Uh, techno music in some games. In, in the Game Boy Advance version, I remember it was driving a car or doing other uh, mini games to get money. I haven't heard these ones though. I like the heavy metal music though. But I, I like the speed metal way better. There's Walking the Plank too. Well, here, Walk the Plank in a bit. Oh, my eyes are starting to close a bit. That's not good. Oh, uh, I think we could get to go on the dance floor. We automatically dance. And I realize it's all the same pictures from the sofa. Alright, let's go back here. This is actually Jebediah's room, and this is Mama Hog's room as well. Now, you can tell there's a big difference between the two areas. So, yeah, this is Jeb's bed, which is a square box bed. Nothing more. And other stuff like Jeb probably leaving, like, his gasoline or whatever that is there. I actually know that uh, he probably... Maybe not. Actually sleep on the bed. We'll get some sanity if we sleep on Jeb's bed. No pillows, just just laying down. Which I should do real soon. I'm getting a little fuzzy. So you see Jeb hanging out with the cows. And then there's a cow cal or bull calendar. And the tires. Okay, so Mama Hog's room is way more way more interesting. Uh, has, has her bed, we'll just lie down on her bed for a sec. Another picture of her son, Dusty, as well, but she's got, like, all these different sensual things. Like, candles and, and mirrors, and a weird thing is, if you uh, take a look at this, there's, like, a picture of a Otto Shafir as, like, a shrine right here, because I'm pretty sure she's, like, attracted to him. It's just crazy. I forgot if he was an actor. Yeah, there's all the candles and stuff. And then we got the bathrooms over here. This is where the bathrooms are. I like these sinks, and I like these toilets too. It's pretty good. Uh, I'll tell you my favorite part. Well, the only, okay, it's good, but I, it's kind of missing the, the door part. That's what I don't like. I think that it's fine. So, I, I mean, that's fine with that. All right, we should go back. Uh, and then I know that there's an arcade game here you can actually play. And this is, uh, this is pretty much, uh, Space Invaders. So you get a few shots in. Uh, they move faster if you shoot all of them, eventually. Just stop. Okay. Alright, it's... And then we could take a look at this, the other store. This is the, uh, yeah, the Strange Town store. A new, never before seen object arrives each month for purchase. So, uh, don't forget to check back. So, yeah, it monthly changes to purchases. Looks cool. And then you could buy these lottery tickets uh, that, that you can scratch off. And they're all different things. So, Emperor's Coffers is pretty much Tank Grunt scratching off for aliens. Uh, we can stretch like five of them, I think. And I think we got nothing. Yeah. 
Oh, we got the alien. Oh, no, that's the moon. All right, we got uh, three out of five. And yeah, we got 90 books back. Okay, we're good. So there's tombstones, other clothes like that. And we got the Johnny Smith person that'll help us buy things. So what they have in store for this time around is a caramel, ma uh, caramel maple bed. This orange bed is just for sleeping and not hiding under. <laughs> the white couch. A budget white sofa from Sitwell. Newspaper sold separately. Oh my god. Powder blue toilet. If you don't know what a blue toilet is, you probably don't need them. Porcelain sink. Your basic sink. Hot and cold water. Rubber stopper. Bacteria. Okay. Honey bee shower. This earthy brown shower evokes the natural world of all its muddy glory. And then the fridge ranges from 35 degrees Fahrenheit to room temperature if you don't plug it in. Okay, and there's extra stuff too they could buy. So we got these ones, the modern mahogany. Oh no, let's we'll do this one. Uh, deluxe golden fridge. This is probably twice as heavy as the hotel. <laughs> the the royal ebony bed sleeps too comfortably or ten painfully. Understandable. And this is a modern mahogany dresser. Uh, that has things and a deluxe mahogany dresser. Does the mahogany sound like a word you'd use to describe a really nerdy lawyer? Yeah, I get it. Large dresser, old favorite with high strength aluminum handles. <laughs> the general store got a koi pond, but it's like a thousand dollars. A puny plastic pond to put your cute koi curb. Then um, a pet bunyip. It's an odd and possibly fake creature from Australia. Please feed it. We're not able to buy any of that at all. Oh, but, wait. This is what I'm talking about. Skill points. They lie around in the game and, like, different areas. All uh, random points. So, we got lucky with that. But, other than that, we should actually go to the Strange Show City Hall. This building is home to both Mayor Honest Jackson and the Department of Construction. Uh, speaking of construction, uh, we should probably call uh, for uh, this guy here, the, uh, the clerk. So you can sell fuel rods here as well. And you get like 40 bucks out of it. Yeah. But other than that, let's, let's build a room. What we want is the Snake Eyes Casino at the atrium. And it'll build right away. Yes. I think we talk, go back to Honest Jackson. Oh. All right. Actually, no, this is instant. So that's perfect. So, should we, what is, what is, Mayor's not even in here. Okay, that's great. We're gonna go back to the casino and I think we might call it there, actually, even though it's like almost to the hour. Yay. Yay. Actually, uh, hey, I'm Toos, just in time. I have my last nail minutes ago. Come on in and check out the new casino. I should well, almost call it. Yeah, it takes 25 years just to get to uh, there. There we go. Let's just get into the casino. Open your doors. Yay. Oh, it. Beautiful, right? I don't know why I didn't make a living as a carpenter. I guess test piloting experimental jets is more my thing. So have a look around. Get to know the place and let me know what you think. You're interested in playing a game of cards? Kill Hall and Cards is a great way to make a lot of money. What the hell? Oh, what was that? I like how uh -oh, a long last to land on Earth we have come now. All humans will you fear to us and make bowing gestures for our feet. This can you not stop. We will always be taking over you. I vow this. Uh, this happens every couple weeks. His name is Emperor Sizzle. He's been trying to take over Strange for years, but we can't figure out why. There's nothing here but sand and heat. Luckily for us, those aliens have a weakness. Water. I suppose that's why they always come to the desert. If you can find a super drenched water cannon, you can send him running back to his ship. 
I think Giuseppe has one. Anyway, I'm out of here. There's this mesa I've been itching to climb. Nice work with me. Okay, we'll actually go back to the casino because that's the last thing I'm gonna do. I, we'll, we'll handle Emperor's Sizzle later. And here's the thing, even though this casino got built like right away, every other building is gonna take quite a few hours just to have it built. But what we're gonna play is kill all cards. Or actually, let's show how. Hey. Step one: draw a card. Draw from either the deck or the discard pile. If you find any bonus cards such as cannons or bottles of grog, you can play them immediately. Step two: if you have three or more of the same pirate card, select all of them and drag them to the stairs. Uh, any remaining cards of this pirate are removed from the game and its points are added to the treasure chest. Step three: discard. When you discard your last card, you win the round and earn the points from the treasure chest. The first player to reach 200 points wins. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. So we'll play this game now. So the, so the whole point is you want to get rid of all your cards in, the, in your in your deck here. And, and you want to match up at least three cards. It doesn't matter if it's living or dead, but yeah. Uh, and you automatically have to draw a card every round. We don't have anything here, so uh, I'm gonna discard this one the most. Yeah. Oh! So the CPU just used a cannon and just destroyed my points, and he landed and got a, uh, I guess, the, the skeleton guy. So right, we can draw this, and we actually draw three cards of the same person. So you can draw from both the, the yeah, the other pile and and then the main the main one here. So we have to throw away a card. Uh, it makes no sense to have stuff here. Uh, oh, uh oh, where do I throw the wing in? Discard a card. Okay, there we go. Oh, I forgot to take that out. All right, we'll take this guy, and I'll, I'll take out the monkey guy. Yeah, so we're fighting for whoever is going to get rid of their stuff first. And my man got three of them, so he's, he's going out. And every pile you get rid of, you get more money. Let's just take that one out. He had the ghost version of the, the guy that got that jumped. Take that one. Get. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Two cards. Oh, let's take out this one. Alright. Uh. Ooh. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing yet. We gotta be careful. Oh my god. Yeah. So luckily he's not losing cards yet. So that helps. Alright. And this is our first uh, deck cleared. So we got at least 40 points along with our 65 after that. And, yep. Yeah, Alright, we get the points. So from 65 to 105, pretty easy. Oh, and the CPU already had another player. Because they opened up a beer jug, which gets you more parts. Uh, what do I have? It's easy. Three. Oh, all right. Let's throw the monkey off the plank. Oh, uh, we'll just get rid of that. Uh, I got too much chances at that card. Uh. Ooh. Be a skeleton. Mm. Well, oh, you can use cannons now. Uh, let's discard this one. Alright, nope, that one doesn't work either. Ooh. Okay. Get rid of that ghost card because he already died. Uh, I'll take that one. He's getting quite a bit of points now. Uh oh. I just need one more captain. That's it. 
Oh no. And yep, the appointment got the points. Oh. Oh, card. Okay. We got three already. Goodbye. And we can only win if we get the stuff. The, uh, over the chest. Okay. Drop that one down. Hopefully we get more cards. I even wanted to drop that one down. And that was definitely not worth it. Oh. Oh, no, not a ghost card. This might be it. Uh. So we actually won it. So as long as we reach the 200, we actually get the, the loot. And that is, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's actually pretty much, uh, oh, save this. Yes. That is actually going to be it for me because I'm actually going to sleep now. All right. And uh, I'll probably upload this when I wake up. So I, I hope whoever sees this, uh, yeah, if you're gonna have a good day, have a good day. See you soon.